I'm Insomniac, and this is Murdered Out from Black Rifle Coffee Company. Alright, so most of you probably already saw my review on Beyond Black from Black Rifle Coffee Company. Uh, this one is Murdered Out, and as you see there, uh, the packaging gives you that feel really cool. Still has the same bag, but it has that kind of almost blended in MO there. And the rest of it's just as simple and pleasing, in my opinion, as the last package. Very simple, same exact stuff on the back, ingredients, coffee. And for those of you who always get pissed off about the ground coffee, this is another whole bean coffee. Stop whining. So, we're reviewing it right today. The aromas out of the bag are very chocolatey. And it kind of has like a grain or weedy cereal or something like that to it as well and it kind of the combined aroma gives you like kind of like a cocoa puffs Touch my cocoa puffs and I will beat your ass. or something like that it almost reminds me of a chocolatey cereal then you have a bit of wood but it's kind of like an old wood box that you left in the basement for a while it's kind of like almost like a a moist damp musty wood and then there's a little bit of saltiness which mixed in with everything else kind of reminds me of I guess the best way to put it, if you were to put salt and a bit of chocolate and a kind of weedy scent all together, you'd get chocolate covered pretzels with salt. So salted chocolate covered pretzels. I think you'd get what I'm saying. No shit, Sherlock! Definitely a nice uh, combination of scents. The beans in this coffee are not nearly as oily as in Beyond Black. If you remember Beyond Black, I said it kind of looked like there was gun oil on the on the uh, beans. I don't know how well you can see that there, but uh, definitely not as oily as the Beyond Black. Oops, I lost one. Yeah, so I like the way it smells. Let's grind some of it up, brew some of it up, and uh, keep it going. Alright, we brewed up some of this Black Rifle coffee. One of the most interesting things to note is while it was actually brewing in the pot, I had this really big, bright lime scent. Biggest lime in the world. Kind of filling up the room, so I thought this was going to be extraordinarily citrusy to the brewed aroma, but oddly enough, once you get it in the cup, I don't really smell lime anymore. There is a little bit of a citrus note, but I mean, it's really faint. There's definitely some cocoa in there, still some of that chocolatey goodness like it did right out of the bag. And like I said, still a little bit of citrus. There you go. Then a bit of mixed nuttiness and earth. Can't exactly tell what kind of nuts it, it's like a big mix. Well, that's why I said mixed nuttiness. Fuck this guy. All right, let's give it a shot. All right, well, you have a little bit of a nutty flavor. Uh, it's actually a roasted almond specifically. Then there's a little bit of a kind of citrus oil in there. Kind of reminds me of like, uh, I don't know, kind of like orange peel, but if you were to just somehow get oils from that. Or maybe that's where the oils come from. Shows you what I know. He's a genius. But definitely a little bit of an oily citrus. And then speaking of oily, the actual overall flavor profile, I'd say most of what this actually tastes like is just oily dirt. Now it doesn't sound appetizing to some people, and I can't actually say that it's an incredible flavor uh, from where I'm standing, but it's definitely not bad. But it definitely has like a kind of oily taste to it, and even like a little bit of an oily mouthfeel. <laughs> but that is most of the flavors. The other flavors I described are actually pretty faint. It's mostly just kind of like a oily dirt type of flavor profile. Now one good piece of news is, and as always, I always say this in the reviews, but I'm reviewing this black clearly. Not getting any bitterness, no harshness, it's a good smooth finish to it. It's nice and smooth while you drink it, so uh, definitely very drinkable. And even though you're not getting a lot of flavors, you're only getting those few things I described, there is a good amount of body to it. It definitely doesn't taste like, you know, 
hot water with coffee flavor. There definitely is a good amount of rich body to this coffee. If I had to rate Murdered Out from Black Rifle Coffee Company on a scale from 1 to 10 Mike Tyson's, I would give it a 7. And the only reason it didn't get a higher rating is actually because of the flavors, which and I know a lot of you are probably thinking, well, the flavor is the most important part of the coffee, so I didn't get a lower score. But the flavors weren't bad, I just felt it kind of lacked in the amount of flavors or flavor complexity. Most of it was that kind of oily dirt thing. The drinkability of it, the mouthfeel, the smoothness of it, those were all very good. The aromas were very good. So overall, I definitely think it's an enjoyable coffee. It's just not something that's going to blow you away with flavors. So that's why it got a 7. Not that that's a bad score either. All right! If you've had this coffee, leave a comment. Let me know about your experience with it. And if you want access to my full cigar reviews, my watch reviews, my weekly shooting the shit segment, and all of my giveaways, make sure you hit that link at the very top of the video description. Go to my Patreon page, sign up over there, and I'll see you all next time.